Okay, guys. We're at the murder house. Okay, so Angie and CJ went in to, to make sure nobody was in there. And I was sitting out here with Dana, had my window down, and I swear something ran up to my car. She jumped back in her car. I rolled my windows up real quick. There was nothing there. I ain't going to this damn place. I'm no, there ain't no fucking way. Oh my God. And then when Angie and CJ were walking in, they thought they heard a man say, don't go in there. And now they're gonna go in there. This is what? Where's, I'm scared. I'm really scared because something ran to my car. All right, we're here. Let's get it. Let's get it, girl. Get it. All right, they're going in. I think I'm staying in the car. My heart's pounding. Holy crap. Oh, shit, Angie. You guys are going to leave me. I'm scared. Oh, my God. I, yeah, I don't think I can do it. I'm scared to turn my lights off though, because what if something comes up to my car and I can't see it? Alright guys, well, they're going in, I guess we'll watch from outside. I don't know what to do, I'm not going in. Not with the noises that I heard, and I swear, I don't know what it was. So I'm wimping out tonight, um, my heart can't take this. But I guess they're going to go in. I'm going to sit out here by myself. Can I just go out by the road and wait for you? Mm -mm. You better start beeping your horn if something happens or somebody's coming. Oh my God. I'm so scared. I never knew that building was back there. Let me show you guys. I'm scared to even roll the damn window down now. What the hell was that? There's a building back there. How come I don't remember that building? Can you guys see it? And that building is where Angie thought she heard somebody say, don't go in there. So I'll be wimping in the car. In that building, it was way up by. I heard somebody say, don't go in there. It, that building back there is all open, isn't it? Is it just poles in the air? Oh, yeah, that, oh, okay, that part. I don't know. It used to be a car for Wow. Yep. I don't think I'm doing this, guys. I just don't think so. You're going in? Yeah, why not? Oh, my God. I don't know. I'm too scared. Alright guys, be sure to check out your green eyed angel because she's going in. It looks blurry. I'm going in. Can I just pull away a little bit? No. Come on. That was so scary. It was freaky when I heard that man say that. Don't go in there. Oh my god. No Alright, well go get an epic video and if um I take off, you better get by with them. Okay, guys, they're going into the murder house. I don't know how well you can see me, but it's really dark. Let me turn some light on, but I'm scared to turn too much light on. Okay, so, how's this? If somebody walks up to the side of my car, I will have a heart attack and die. Let's put this down like that a little bit so I can see. I got the doors locked. I'm telling you, since I had the stroke, Spirits are really messing with me. Um, I'm seeing I'm seeing shadow people like crazy. Um, hearing more noises, more voices, more vivid. I can like make out what they're saying. It's so crazy. Um, but like I said, when we pulled in here, Angie and them went in. Angie and CJ went in too. Um, God, I can't see with this light on. They went in to see. I hope them cops don't come in here. There was cops riding by. They went in to see. Um, make sure nobody was inside. 
And I was just talking to Dana. I was sitting in the car. I had the windows, my window down and that window down. Just sitting in the car. And all of a sudden, I was flashing the blue light. And all of a sudden, I swear, something ran right up to the side of my car my, by, at my window. When I turned and looked, it looked like I seen something. So I was trying to roll my window up, and she started freaking out. Oh, my God, what was that? So she goes, and instead of jumping in the car with me, she jumps in her car. And I don't know what it was. We, there was nothing there. After we got, like, I, I moved the car and pointed the headlights. There was nothing there. So I don't know. If anything happens here, I will, I'm going to freak out. I don't know what's going on with my senses. Or I guess that's what I should say, my senses. Um, in my house, it's crazy because in my house, I was walking out, out the hallway and down around the corner in the living room, and I jumped a friggin' mile, and it was a friggin' lamp. I swear, I thought I seen a person's face, and all of a sudden, I jumped. And when I realized afterwards, I thought that's it's a lamp. Oh my god! So since I had this stroke, a lot of weird things have been happening. A lot of weird things. I don't know how what you're seeing, but I'm I can't see nothing with this light on. So I'm gonna turn it off for a minute to make sure. Well, I'll just turn you guys around, and let you guys look in front of us with the headlights. Um, all right, here we go. I took my camera off that thing. Um, that's that building. What the fuck was that? I thought I'd just seen something. Oh my god. I hope they make this the fastest video ever. It's after 3 in the morning. And uh, I don't know. I don't know why I thought I could do this with them. Anyways, I don't remember that tall building back there. I think because right now everything's died back because it's winter. I think maybe um, I didn't, just never seen it. But whatever ran to my car ran from that direction. My car was facing the other sideways. I don't know. I'm just having true. I'm nervous as hell. I didn't want to go in there and end up having a heart attack or something crazy just for a video. I got after that thing I got really scared so I just told them I wasn't going in with them but now I'm sitting out here all by myself which is just as bad being by my damn self what is wrong with me but at least if something come up to the car I could actually back up and take off god I'm seeing shit now oh my god let me turn this light off what am I seeing in the window? I keep seeing stuff. Let me know in the comments if you guys see anything. I can't see the side of my car. I can't see behind me because it's so dark. Okay, so I wimped out. Over this way, I'm going to turn it. Over this way is that house, but I don't think you, you, know, you guys aren't going to be able to see it. Because my headlights aren't pointing that way. I guess I could turn my headlights that way, but I, th I feel safer with them pointing the way they're pointing. Because that's the way, whatever that was. It had to have been spirit. Angie heard somebody say, don't go in there. So if there's somebody back that way, I should at least be able to see them if they come. But she thinks it was Spirit that told her not to go in there, too. And I can't... I can't see anything outside my car. I hate these... What the fuck was that? I think I heard a whisper or something in the damn car. Really? I hope not. Anyways, I can't see nothing out my side windows at all. It's pitch black. These tinted windows, it really makes it dark. 
There's another building way back there. Can you see that building way back there? I don't know what that is. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know what it is. I mean, there's that tall building, but there's something way back there. It seems like I was told there was something way back there, but we never went and checked it out. I can't tell what that is. It'd be neat to come here in the daytime. I'm trying to think if I've ever been here in the daytime. I don't know if I've ever been here in the daytime. I don't think I have. Maybe a long time ago with Joe and Rob. I wish Angie had her walkie-talkies. At least I would know they were okay in there. She told me to lay on the horn if, I, if anything happens out here. I should have started filming from the beginning. I was actually looking out the window with my... No, I had my blue light. But I wasn't filming. I didn't think I would need to be filming outside. Yeah, I'm really nervous. I don't know what it is. My senses are really touchy right now. It's, it's, I'm having like issues also with, um, background noise. If I get on the phone and, and I'm talking to someone, if there's background noise on the other end, I can't, I can't. I don't even want to be talking. I can't concentrate. So I haven't even been talking on the phone to anybody lately. I mean, I just send text messages and I don't know what's going on with me. It's it's driving me crazy, but I I can't, you know, I I can't stand noises even at home. Like if I'm doing something in the kitchen and the TV's on in the background in the other room, I can't stand the noises. I'm like, I just, I don't know what's going on. And this all started after I had my stroke. And then I find out when I went to my neurologist that I had two strokes within the last year. And the first stroke, I didn't, didn't even, did, did, didn't, shit. Didn't even know I, I had. And, um... I think I, I probably had it when I got the eye blow out and I probably didn't even know it because there was so much going on with me at that moment you know with the pain and different different symptoms that they wasn't looking for anything other than you know I busted my eye open cracked the um the um the bone around my eye socket I think I probably had it then and um, they just wasn't looking for it because I don't know when I had the first one. But boy, I know the second one really hit me good. Whew. It was crazy. And I'm scared now. It's like I'm scared that... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm scared that... Um, I'm scared to go to sleep at night. I'm scared to be alone. Like, I won't be alone in my house. I am scared to death. Um, you know, it's nice with Louie there and everything, but I'm still scared. Like, I like Haley to be with me if I go anywhere. I guess it's just, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I have no clue. It seems like I see something over this way. I wish you could see it better with the light. I'm going to just turn the camera. If it'll go, leave some of the light in there. Looks like it's blurry, but it seems like I see something over there behind the house. Let me know in the comments if you guys see anything. I 
they wanted to make a 3 a.m. video here. They haven't even been in there very long. And I'm so nervous. I'm really nervous. And now I'm scared to do a 30 minute challenge. I, I, I just, I'm scared to be alone. So I haven't been doing them either. I don't want to bore you guys with this video. So I don't know. I'll probably edit it back and I don't know if I'll post it or not. But. Be sure to check out Angie, your green eyed angel. The mysterious ones. And the mysterious ones wife. Be sure to check out their videos. To see what they got inside. Hopefully they make a quick video. I'm so tired guys. If I wasn't scared I could go to sleep. I've been up since like 7 o'clock this morning. We went to see Cool in the Gang. Yay! Me and Angie went to see Cool in the Gang. And that was awesome. It was an awesome concert. Um, then we went to a really creepy cemetery. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired. We went to a really creepy cemetery that nobody's ever been to in Plant City. And um, that nobody's ever filmed at. And then we tried to go to a second one, but some man kept following us. He kept, like, everywhere we went, he was fo he followed us up and down all the aisles. And when we got to the exit, when we got to go out, we seen that there was a sign that said it closed at 7 p.m. And anybody caught in there would get arrested. So we just left that one. We didn't, you know, we never got, we never spoke with the man or anything. But that's probably why he was, he's probably like security guard or something. So that's, um... That's why we didn't stay there. But if if it's that secured, there's got to be somebody famous or something buried there. Um, it was Oaklawn. I think it was Oaklawn. Oaklawn Cemetery in Plant City, Florida. Somebody look that up and see if there's somebody special buried in there. Because why would it close at 7 o'clock? And why... I mean, yeah, they all could close at dusk. That's true. But, um... Why would it have security? Like a security guy. That was really weird. That there was a security guy there. I don't know. It was really weird. Oh my god, guys. Come on. Just make a 15 minute video and get the hell out of there. That place is scary as hell in there. It's very active with spirits. You tell the property's active with spirits. I'm like ready to bite my fingernails off sitting out here. Hopefully the cops don't show up. Oh my god, I think I see. Well, you guys wouldn't be able to see even if I showed you. Look like I've seen something in my side view mirror, but my windows are tinted and I'm not rolling that damn window down. There ain't no way. No way. That's probably just, I don't know. I don't know. I keep thinking of when we was at the May Stringer house and somebody was outside the car and knocked on the window. That scared the shit out of me. And I keep thinking if it happens here, I might back up and run somebody over because I believe me, I'm going to take off. And I'm going to have to back up. That place inside there is so big that they will probably be in there for a little while. They're probably in there calling me a wimp. I am a wimp tonight. I just, I don't know. Like I said, it's been crazy since I had a stroke. It's, it's been, I don't know. My senses are really touchy. But hopefully they're okay in there.
I'll try to bring you guys back in the daytime sometime. And then we'll check out that building out back. They're over to the right of the screen. They went in the back that way. But you got no light. You can see that one reflector. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the one reflector that's right against the back of the house. And that's the way they went. I'm getting a really bad headache. Like something hit me in the, my head or not really hit me in my head. Just, yeah, maybe something hit me in my head. That's what it feels like. Not real hard blunt, but just like in the very back of my head. It just feels like something hit me there. And it, I, can't, I can't explain it. It's hurting really bad. I'm hoping that you guys will get the reaction when they come out, unless they come out the front door. Because that place is creepy inside there. Be sure to let me know in the comments if you guys see anything. I can't even believe I did a 30 minute challenge here. I was a lot braver um, before the stroke. I was going out and making all them 30 minute challenges. Now I'm too chicken to make one. Well, I don't want to be alone for one. And my senses are messing up in my head. Like things are really, really getting to me. Spirit activities seems to be, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. And, um, you know, I realized in my head how stupid it was going to these places alone, a woman alone, um, you know, safety reasons and now health reasons. Hell, if I had a stroke in one of these buildings, nobody would, eat. I mean, yes, I always tell somebody where I was, where I, where I was going, but, um, that don't mean that they, you know, they'd find me the next day if I never showed up at home or something. I always tell Tyler where I'm going, but Tyler goes to bed at 8 or 9 o'clock at night. He goes to bed so early, um, you know, he wouldn't know I would never came home until after he woke up the next morning. So, and Tyler and I have that GPS thing, so he always can see where I'm at. And we did that for because I go out to all these crazy places. Alright guys, it's been 24 minutes. End your video. <laughs> it's weird sitting out in the car. I'm by myself. I do feel safer in the car though. Only because I could, you know, put it in reverse and take off. I'm going to try to back up here a little bit. It looks really smoky out there or something. Foggy. Damn, the car didn't want to go. Oh, I see something right back there. What the hell is it? Oh, lock the car. Lock the door back. Okay, guys. So, it looks like I see something back there. I'm trying to see. I got my bright lights on. Let me turn the bright lights off. Maybe it's part of that building over to the left, like in the middle of the screen to the left. It looked like I seen someone. It's kind of like there's a light over there. But maybe not. It could be my imagination. <laughs> running. My imagination is running. Damn, I wonder what that was that came up after the car. It does look like there's something over close to that pole. If you look at the very back of the house, and then look to the left, it looks like there's something close to that pole. Let me turn this some more. 
like yeah you see the reflector in the back of the house look to the left not all the way to the left of the screen kind of in the middle of the screen it definitely looks like somebody's back there it must be a little bit foggy outside it looks like it might be blurry in the camera and then we've had past 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 some patches of fog. Guess what, guys? I did a 30 minute challenge alone. Alone in the car. Outside of the murder house. The yellow murder house. I hope they're okay. I think I might see a flashlight coming. Oh, thank God. Well, they're all okay. What are they doing? Are you okay? Yeah. I did a 30 minute challenge alone. In the car. <laughs> By myself. Man, there was no, like, we was hearing all kinds of stuff. And then I sat in the REM pod in the middle of the building and just let it sit there. And, and it go off? When we were in the other part of the building. Holy shit. Did you hear that, guys? So they put the REM pod. Be sure to check out their video. They put the REM pod in the middle of a room. And then, we um. We walked away. We left it there. And it went off. Yeah, every time that we were so far away that we couldn't, it stopped by the time we got back. Oh my God, spirit it was in there touching it. What all, anything creepy or crazy? Yeah, stuff kept getting thrown. Stuff was getting yeah. thrown. What? Like, really getting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the bewitching hour too. It is the bewitching hour. I gotta do a little outro real quick because my battery died while we Oh, well I filmed the whole time you were gone. Watching, watching the woods. We was protecting them, right? We were their bodyguard. Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Um, Did you guys look in the wall? Kept hearing footsteps. It sounded like somebody was. Yeah. And it kept sounding. As soon as we got out here. It kept sounding like somebody was walking like up in the attic. Oh God. Things were getting thrown in the one room that has all the concrete flooring with the bar. So somebody probably was in the attic. Should have climbed up there. Oh, you guys left the I taser it, here. I, I said it. Oh. I said in my video that uh, next time I come here, that's actually one of my wants. What, you're going to crawl in the attic? Needs, yeah. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm in the attic. I would like to come here in the daytime sometime. Oh, man. Yo, I, I never even experienced nothing like that. That thing, I, I mean, I did, I have, but nothing like... It was a trickster, basically. It was a trickster? It was a trickster spirit. Uh, because, yeah, the one minute, we'll be in there and everything. We'll be in one room. We'll be talking to it, trying to get it to come out. Nothing. Next thing you know, we walk into the next room and try to go into a certain room. Mm -hmm. And then you'd hear... Like, uh, the last one I think was rock and thrown. The other one was like a, uh, a pair of wire, uh, connector. Like a, like a, yeah, like a wire nut. Holy crap. Uh, get thrown around. So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Um, wow. So after you were out of the room, this stuff was getting thrown around. Yeah. Holy shit. You wouldn't do it while we were there. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's really crazy. <laughs> oh my God. So what do you think of the murder house? How was how was it? Oh, scary? It. Yeah, definitely scary, but <laughs> some place I would love to come back to most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of on one of my tops to come back to. Alright, that's stuff. CJ guys, the mysterious ones. Oh yeah guys, this place is worth it. <laughs> scary. <laughs> oh man.
Okay, guys, you heard it from CJ. So be sure to check out all the videos. I'm ready to get the hell out of here and go home. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.